Do you know what is palm history? Is palm reading really a way to tell a person's personality and fit by lines, colors, and hand shapes? And whether you believe it or not, it's an ancient and interesting practice that's found all over the world. In this video, I'll show you some basic palm reading skills in eight minutes. First, which palm should you read? In Chinese culture, it's commonly believed that the right hand is for females while the left hand is for males. But some modern opinions believe it's important to analyze both of them. The dominating hand shows a person's present and the future, while the non-dominating one represents the natural personality. I use the right hand as an example, as this is the dominating hand for most people. Step one: Observe the palm color of the hand. For example, if the color is shiny and white, it's the luckiest as the person is easier to succeed. The pink represents good luck, which means the person does less but gets more. The yellow means one's life is not easy. Who should keep feet on the ground and look for a steady life? The blue color between the thumb and the index finger means there may be diarrhea. Step two: Read the shape of the palm. There are five shapes of the palm based on the Chinese five elements theory. The first is metal hand. The person always has big hands, square palms and nails, and thick fingers. She or he is meticulous, and most of them like to work stably. So it's good to take a job like watchmaking. Maybe the person is not so romantic, but is responsible and can be a good spouse. The second is the broad hand with round and thin palms and stubby fingers. The person is very smart and good at seizing opportunities, making this person suitable for business. Also, she or he is easy to adapt to different environments, but this person is not so strong-willed. And easier to follow others' opinion. In love, she or he is romantic, but may be forcing love with several people at the same time. Next is wood hand. The person has a wide palm with long fingers, well-defined knuckles, and often has gaps between the fingers. The wood hand is talkative and has her or his own ideas. The person pays more attention to ideas and beliefs than material. She or he is romantic and eager for pure love. The fourth is the fire hand. This hand is narrow and thin, with long fingers and ruddy nails. Fire hand is a quick thinker with a three minutes passion. She or he is emotional and clearly knows what to love or hate. Full of talent and vigor, the person likes to work freely. The last is the earth hand. Combining the characters of the metal hand and the wood hand, the earth hand is thick and square. She or he is rational and realistic, but also flexible. That's why most of them are good at making money. In a relationship, it may some time to find a person's inner beauty and advantages. Step three. Let's look at the five fingers. First, check the length of the fingers like this. Chinese palmistry believes longer fingers are better, as fingers represent thought, while palm represents action. The thumb represents a person's ability of judgment and decision making. If it's too long, the person might be adventurous, decisive, and driven. Although maybe there are some big ups and downs, the person has a great chance of success. It's more difficult for the one with a short thumb to succeed. The index finger shows the ability of leadership. The person with long, thick index fingers likes to direct others to do things. If it's short, the person may have no enough confidence. The middle finger stands for control. The person with a bad middle finger tends to stick to her or his own ideas and has a poor emotional control. If it's cheat, the person has more self-control. The person with a long ring finger usually likes art and adventure, while a short one might not be interested in such things. The little finger represents wealth and social skills. Usually, it's the longer the better. Almost all rich people have a long little finger. Step four. Now let's learn about the five main lines, which is usually the part people want to know the most. The first is the lifeline, an arc that encircles the sun. Although it's called lifeline, it doesn't reflect how long a person lives, but reflects one's health and physical vitality. If the lifeline is long and looks clear, it means the person is energetic and vibrant. If the line is short and unclear, it indicates the person with poor health. So. It's better to do more exercise and a physical examination on time. If the life line is thick, the person may be good at physical labor and sports. If the line is thin, the person is suitable for mental work. If there's a circle like an Iceland on the line, the person might be sick or in hospital. The size of the circle indicates the seriousness of the illness. 
The second is the money line, also called it the fake line, a vertical crease that stretches from the waist to the middle finger. It reflects one's career and fortune. People usually pay lots of attention to it. If one's lifeline is long and clear, it usually reflects the stability of the present job with few changes. A blurred line means that the present job is unstable. Sure, he changes jobs frequently. In modern society, it's not bad as people switch jobs more often. Some people have only one job in their lifetime, but no money line. Why? Actually. The money line reflects one's inner thoughts, but not actions. If the person always wants to change jobs, there's no such a line. If there are two lines, the person could have a part-time or a side business. If there's a circle on the money line, the person may make great trouble in their career. Next is the marriage line, the short line on the palm side below the little finger. It shows what's love relationships and marriage. Some people have only one marriage line, while some have several. If there are several lines, just read the clearest one. If there are two lines as deep as the same, the person may fall into a love triangle. If there are some marriage lines without a main one, the marriage life might not be good. If there is a branch at the end of the line, the love relationship is likely to break up. If the marriage line goes up more, the person may want to keep single. If there's a circle on the marriage line, the person might leave apart for some reason. The first is a head line, also known as the western line, which starts between the thumb and the index finger and goes to the other side of the palm. It reflects a person's intelligence and personality. Usually, the longer the clear is the better, which indicates the strong ability to concentrate and think. If there's a circle, it means poor concentration and memory. If there are two headlines, congratulations. It means this person is likely to be knowledgeable, flexible, and thoughtful. The last is the heart line, also known as the love line, which runs from the bottom of the little finger towards the index finger. It reflects the things related to the heart, like feelings and attitude. If the heart line is long, the person may have a lasting relationship. If the line goes up to the middle finger, the person has little interest in expressing love. A broken heart line means the person may have a setback in the relationship. Now, do you have any idea about palm itching? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We'll make more videos about cultural food and festivals. Thanks for watching.